Kovacs, so what? Yeah, just sue me. Well, seriously, YouTube, we're gonna sue me. Hold on, that Criterion here, number four hundred five. GW Pabst adaptation of Kurt Weill and Bert Tolbrecht's Three Penny Opera, or D. Oh God, D. I tried. Nineteen thirty-one, hundred ten minutes, black and white, manual German, one hundred nineteen, blah 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 blah. So, I've been. I've been actually kind of wanting to see this for a while. I have, I have or had a audio adaptation. I forget who produced it. Um, sorry, with Raul Julia playing uh, Mackie Messer, and uh, so I know a little bit about you know Three Penny Opera outside of you know Mac the Knife and you know here and Bobby Darren and Louis Armstrong and and Pet Shop Boys cover of What Keeps Mankind Alive. So that's like the Probably the minimum of information that I know about Three Penny Opera. Um, I've never seen it, so this is my first first venture into the, the that world. Um, and I know that apparently, according to the supplements, it doesn't have the original ending of the play, the original opera play or whatever. So um, I still have to see it. I still have to see an adaptation of it. You know. Maybe there's a, a like a truer adaptation, a true true to Brecht script or whatever. Uh, but anyway, I can tell you what it's about. I mean, I, I think a lot of people know about the story. Um, basically, it's about this serial killer, uh, Mac the Knife or Mackie Messer, nicknamed Mac the Knife, and he he's in love with this girl, or he's dating this girl uh, Jenny, I think, and he falls in love with this this woman Polly. Polly, what is her name? Polly Peachum. And, oh, God, Jenny's ugly. Lottie Lenya, I'm sorry. Just Lottie, just, ugh. She, she a weird-looking lady. Um, and his friend Tiger Brown. And, um, and uh, what else? What else? Uh, let's see. Jonathan J.J. J. J. Peachum is uh, Polly's dad. And, you know, basically, Mackie gets in trouble, and, you know, Jenny, Jenny gets jealous and Mackie gets in gets arrested and Polly ends up starting a bank for him and making him a you know making him the bank manager and Jenny helps him get out and yeah it's basically that's basically the end of the the movie the movie ends with apparently like I guess with Mackie giving up his his original you know plot of you know killing because he realizes that banking's a lot more safer and he, he and the Police officer and I think Polly's dad all join forces to rob the people because it's a lot safer, um, and that's basically the main plot of it. Um, yeah, I don't have much else to say outside. Of, I mean, I do actually. I do. That's not true. Um, it is a very if you if you're I mean it's a it's apparently a lot of the music was cut from the um, a lot of the lyrics were cut from the movie, um, a lot of movies that apparently, a lot of the lyrics that wouldn't get past the censors back then, and so there's a lot of music that is just played on piano or just like instrumentally, a lot of songs, I think a whole character's cut out of the, whole character's cut out of the movie, so there's that as well. Um, outside of that, uh, yeah, it's, it's an interesting, it's an interesting adaptation. Again, I've never seen it before, I will have to really, you know, from what it is, I will give it, I think it does its job. I think I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a B plus um, for a few reasons. One, I think the the plot doesn't bother me. It's the singing. Some of the singing bothers me. Mostly um, Lottie Lenya's singing. Um, the, the Pirate Jenny song was annoying as hell. And it doesn't seem, it, and I think some of it is the song, but also I think it's her voice too. Her voice is kind of just not my favorite. Um, you know, story-wise, it's a really interesting story, and you know, Mac the Knife's a classic, and 
all the other songs, you know, it's nothing wrong with the songs, as far as I know. It's just, you know, the perfor the performances. Um, yeah, again, nothing wrong with, uh, what's, what's the guy, the, the actors, except for maybe La La Lanya, um, Rudolph Forster and Carol uh, Neher, you know, they, were, they did a really good cool job. Um, so yeah, B, B plus, I'd say. Um, now, that's giving it to the German version. I did not watch the French version. I didn't watch it all the way. I watched a couple of... I watched the intro, introduction scene and the intro, introduction, uh, the Mac the Knife scene, as well as a little... just a couple of choice scenes. Um, some of the... Uh, I watched some of the, the Pirate Jenny and the actress who plays Jenny in the, in the French version, which I don't think is credited here. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, um, Margot Lyon. She's a lot better looking, first and foremost. A lot better looking and uh, definitely a, uh, and basically just a better singer. Still not great, but again, and that what, but that's what makes me believe that a lot of it has to do with the, uh, the song itself. The Pirate Jenny song is just a weak song. Um, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. I don't, yeah, that, again, it's not much to say. It's just, it's a really cool little play. Um, it's really interesting that I finally got a chance to see this. Um, I definitely probably just need to see another version of it. Um, I need to see like a true, a true on stage theater adaptation. You know, that's the thing with when you have a movie, you know, you can tweak things, you can make it re more realistic. With the play, you have only you know, just a stage, you know. Um, and so because of that, you are limited, and you have this, you have to create, if you're writing a theater play, you have to write in the idea of, okay, you can only make these this many scene changes and costume changes and all that in a live performance, whereas, you know, movie things, you can cut it up, different takes and all that, people can take their time to do makeup and all that, and so it's a little less real, true to life, I guess, for lack of a better term, um, so... Yeah, I will have to see a, if you guys know any good, like, adaptations of the Three Penny Opera that are, like, more true to the the original, uh, the original film, I mean, the original theater version, um, you know, specifically a theater adaptation, but I'm sure there's stuff on YouTube. Throw me a link, um, yeah, comment down there and all that good stuff. So yeah, Three Penny Opera B+, plus, interesting. Uh, supplements. There's a oh, there's an old introduction from stars uh, Fritz Rapp, who Fritz Rapps, who played uh, who played J.J. Peachum, and uh, Ernest Ernst Bush, who played the street singer. And uh, there's a new documentary, a, I think a 40 48 minute documentary about um, about Brecht and Paths and how you know I guess. Brecht, Brecht, I don't even know how I'm pronouncing his name right, Brecht, Brecht is even, um, was like apparently really concerned about, you know, Paps taking it to the state, to the screen and all that, so, you know, there's a lot of controversy going on there, and of course, you know, as, as mentioned before, law songs had to be cut, you know, censorship and whatnot, um, and yeah, and that's, that's disc one, basically, uh, disc two has the French version of it, um, again, I think the one thing's I like, one thing I noticed was that um, I think is a little interesting is that uh, the the roles of the height I noticed the height um, Albert Albert Valjean Albert uh, Prejean who played who plays Mackie in the French version is significantly shorter than Rudolph Forster. Meanwhile, uh, Lottie Lenya is taller than Margot. No. No, that's not true. No, Margot Lyon is taller than Lottie Lenya. Um, so I just I think that was kind of an interesting inverse. Um, and I mean, outside of that, yeah, again, I just the they mentioned there's a there's a presentation by Charles O'Brien talking about the difference between English and the French the main difference between English and French versions. Um, the French version seems a lot more brighter, a lot brighter. Um, the acting is a little more you know up. The German version is very colder, very mechanical. Um, the French, you know, um, for instance, the first scene where Polly and Mackie see each other, uh, Polly's a lot warmer to Mackie than in the French version than the German version. Um, 
Mackie's a little more playful. There's a bit where they're looking in a shop window, and Mackie and uh, Prejean comes in and smiles at the window and actually looks down to see, like, as if he were, like, making sure he was on his mark or something. Whereas um, Forrester comes in and just looks coldly at the window, you know. Very much, kind of very much like the, kind of like, a, you know, like a serial killer would, you know, or a killer a guy, you know. You know, I think Prejean makes a more likable Mackie, you know. Even though he, and I think that's one of the, also one of the things that, Overall, they did in the film version that apparently isn't in the, the theater version. They made Mackie a lot more likable, um, a lot more like you kind of root for him at one point. And of course, he's kind of like the star of the movie anyway. So, um, yeah, and I think uh, yeah, one of the big differences, I guess, yeah, that between the the theater and the uh, the film version. Was that the ending? Um, apparently, in the original, in the theater version, it doesn't end with them, like, you know, starting the bank thing and all that. There's like a song that, like, there's some extra, some extra lyrics that, you know, changes the whole thing. And so that's interesting tidbit. Um, there's also a 19-minute interview with um, Fritz Rapp from the early 70s, where he talks about his life and, you know, the films he worked on. And this 40-minute 40 uh, 40 collection of uh, photos by Hans Kasparius, um, like that he shot like a bunch of photos uh, during the making of the Three Penny Opera, and a lot of them are displayed as a bonus feature. And that's it. That's all I got for you today. So Three Penny Opera, good stuff. B plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, so that's it for today. Um, don't have. I probably won't have. I don't have anything for you tomorrow. Um, we will have something Thursday. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's. If I do, if I decide to go, if I don't take the day off, and I decide to go out of order, which I probably will, just to keep this channel moving, it's probably gonna be Days of Heaven, because Days of Heaven is at the library. Um, and so, and the everything is on its way. If Martha Graham Dance on Film comes next tomorrow, we'll be doing that. Um, or any of the others. Bre oh, God, I hope not Breathless. I do not want to do Breathless. I'd much rather just, if I had to go out of order, I'd save that for last. You know, save that for this last batch, you know. And, you know, the Carlosaur Flamenco Trilogy is on its way, and the um, Under the Volcano, Malanoche. Um, so, yeah, they're on, the you know, stuff, is, stuff is coming. Um, but yeah, Days of Heaven is there, the library, I'll pick it up tomorrow, and that's basically it. So, um, that's it for me, thank you for watching, watch out for Mackie, Mackie the Knife, and, uh, and don't, don't sing the Pirate Jenny song, uh, because it's not good. And, or don't let Lottie Lenya sing the, the Pirate Mackie, Pirate, Pirate Jenny song. Anyway. That's it for me. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all on Thursday for quite possibly Days of Heaven, if not something else. I'll let you know. You'll know when, when you see a video up on this channel. Anyway, until then, goodbye.